All right, folks, here's a quick one for you that really just rubs me the wrong way. Smallville actor released from prison for role in sex trafficking case tied to cult-like group. It's not a cult-like group. It was a cult. Keith Rainier was the leader of it. And we're talking about Allison Mack, who's already out of prison. But if it were you or I, you think we'd be out? Now, I want to know down in the comments below what you think about how our judicial system works and the fact that prosecutors will make a deal with the smaller fish to take down the bigger fish with an agreement of a lighter sentence. They do that all the time. Now, mind you, our judicial system is not legal. The BAR stands for the British Accredited Registry. We're not in Britain, are we? I didn't think so. It was America. So it's all a fallacy. But anyways, the point being is that's what they do. They don't want you to go to trial. They don't. They scare you to death not to go to trial. So you cop a deal. Even if you don't have a bigger fish above you, they're going to be like, well, if you go to trial, you're going to face the maximum, blah, 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 blah. So you're like, oh, God, tell your lawyer, just take the deal. I'll go serve. Now, mind you, I've been to prison, so I know this, okay? And I got so sick of going to court for my cases that I just took a deal and went to prison. If I knew what I knew now, no way in hell would I have done that. I digress. She's out after a three-year sentence. I think she's a little early, but maybe not. She was released from the California prison. Um, she pleaded guilty in her role in the sex trafficking case tied to the Nexium. Um, blah, 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 hold on. Uh, leader Keith Renias. Now, she pleaded guilty two years early to charges of she manipulated women into becoming sex slaves for Keith Renier. How many women's lives were impacted by this POS in that will be impacted forever? Not only mentally, but they were branded to be in this sex cult. Branded. Like a freaking piece of cattle. So, three years for this POS? Huh. Well, I don't know. It, pro it was in federal prison, too. So, you know, it's not like going to a state prison. You know what I mean? Way different. Federal prison is like going to an effing country club. Come see me in my state prison and see how that fucking is. It's not jail either. Jail and prison are two totally different things, and people get that twisted all the time. Prison is prison. Okay? All right. Yeah, see right here. I didn't even see that part. Brainwashed women who were branded with his initials and forced to have sex with him. Um, she avoided a longer prison term by cooperating with federal authorities in the case against Rainier. Max helped prosecutors mount evidence showing Rainier created a secret society that included brainwashed women. I already said that. Um, in addition, members included a Harris to the Seagram's liquor fortune, Claire Brothman, and a daughter of TV star Catherine Oxenberg the Di of Dynasty fame. Um, she, Mac would later repudiate Rainier and express remorse and guilt before her sentencing in federal court in Brooklyn, New York. Every freaking criminal! does that at their sentencing. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, trying to get a lighter sentence. I, you know, these freaking articles by mainstream media, it's just ridiculous. But let's just look at how short this is with no real info, much of anything in it. That's it. That's it. And at the bottom, they asked a trivia question. Do you think her sentence was too light or blah, blah, blah? And I put too light. Um... Rainier was ultimately sentenced to a total of 120 years in prison. Hopefully that piece of you-know-what dies in there and somehow doesn't get out on some kind of stupidity. But anyways, that's what I got for you. It was a little longer than I thought because I just I'm got emotional. But I love you guys. Remember, Pam, Proud American Month.
Let's go. POS.